If you want to have fun surfing, you need a big wave. And I think it's the same with investing. There are four big waves in the global economy today. They are Brazil, Russia, India and China. And I urge you all to surf them. Business futurist and BRIC expert, David Thomas. Well, the BRICs are the big four economies of this century. They are the BRICs because they have these big three fundamentals land, people, and capital. You should be investing in emerging markets to get access to these key three economic inputs. David Thomas is CEO at Think Global Consulting. It's not often you get to sit and immerse yourself in somebody who's an absolute authority on China. This in domestic consumption, that Russia is really interesting. Their incomes have risen eight times during the course of Putin's rule. Half of the uh, Indian population is under 25 or less. As the Western world or the developed world starts aging, these countries are going to propel their economic growth further and further ahead of us. So in terms of a world where sustainable energy and new forms of uh, energy are going to be required, Brazil is going to be a leading player. The big theme of all is this new emerging consumer. You know, the two to three billion people now coming onto the global market looking to buy. China is modernizing, it's not westernizing. So we can't assume that things that we've done in the West for a long time is going to work in China. This current five-year plan is transformational as they start to focus on their three key priorities, going out, going west, and going green. China is going through a transformation. They're investing heavily in science and technology, um, in research and development, in clean technology, in high-value manufacturing, and they're actually turning many industries upside down by the new innovation that they're introducing. The next priority for China is going west. That's all about moving economic activity from the eastern seaboard into the inner western regions and cities. And that creates really exciting opportunities for companies looking to go into China for the first time. They're spending a fortune in terms of developing solar, wind, biomass, and other uh, sorts of technologies. And they're going around the world looking for new technologies around renewables. New forms of sustainable energy is a big priority for China right now. The train that's left the station, and you've got a choice. You either get on it, or you stand in front of it. I think it's time to get on board.